Welcome to the first of several episodes. We're going to be looking at some EDC gear, flashlights. We're going to kick it off tonight with the Maritac Tri Flood Pro. We are currently en route to a local trail here. We've got about 20 minutes or so until the sun fully sets. Let's take a look at some of the specifications of this light as we are driving to the location. It's pretty impressive. This is actually my second attempt at getting some footage of this light. I went out early this morning at about 6 a.m. to one of the local mountain bike trails around here and it went great. Except the fact that the chest mounted GoPro was obstructed by a backpack strap. Take a look at some of that footage now. Yeah, you can see for days with this. I wished it would have turned out really great and that the strap hadn't have gotten in the way of the lens, but it did. And that is why we are hitting the trail with the veteran, hoping that we can turn it around, get some good footage for you guys and show you just exactly what this light can do. Okay, here we are out on a local trail. It's getting darker. We have the Maritac Tri Flood Pro right down here by my knee. It's on low right now. Got it mounted to the Sherman. We're gonna kick it up to medium. There we go. That's much better actually. We're going into some trees, so I'm gonna kick it up to high. There we go. This is high. As you can see, I don't even have the light for the Sherman on, and this thing is pretty darn good. All right, we're just gonna get down here a teeny bit further, and then we'll double back. We got a cyclist right here. Let's boost it. Let's turn it on boost as we go by him. All right, guys, so there's boost. There is boost on the Maritac Tri Flood Pro. That's pretty bright if you ask me. That's actually incredibly bright. It's uh, more than sufficiently illuminating the trail. If you enjoy this kind of thing and you wanna see me check out some other lights on EUCs and mountain bikes or just out putzing around hiking in the early morning or late night, and then subscribe to the channel, click the like button, all that obligatory stuff, and uh, stick around. Okay, let's uh, let's stop. All right, let's just take a look here. Just to shine in straight in front of us at this tree. This is on boost mode. There's low. There's medium. There's high. There we go. Boost. All right. Let's take this thing back. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It does have built-in thermal regulation because running all three of these emitters at full boost like this does draw some amps and create some heat. But let's see how long we can go before it shuts off. Hopefully it doesn't just stop abruptly leaving us with no light. That wouldn't be good. Hey, I got one for you guys. Let's stop for a second. Let's turn off the Maritac. Woo, that is toasty. Oh yeah. Okay, let's turn on the Sherman light. There we go. And let's see what the difference is. I can tell you already. So the Sherman has this little tiny wide 
beam right up front. But it's very, <laughs> it's really pathetic. It's very, it just dies off in about 10 feet. And then you've got this narrow beam, which attempts to be a long throw narrow beam, I'm taping off at about, oh, 30 feet or so maybe. It's doing nowhere near the job that the Maritak did. Let's, uh, let's stop right here and let's switch them back up. Okay, let's uh, turn off the Sherman light. Boom, let's turn on the Maritak. Uh, is that turbo? There's turbo. All right, look at the difference. I mean, not only, and the Maritak's not even meant to be a distance throw, but look at that wide beam. I got 30 feet on either side of the wheel for 100 yards that I can see. That's incredible. Now, if you're gonna run the light and boost the whole time, I highly recommend you score yourself a few extra cells. Uh, this thing will take 18650s or 21700s. I recommend the Molly Cell P42As. They uh, allow for, I believe, the highest amp draw up to, what is it, 45 amps per cell, I think, at max. Um, so yeah, go with the 21700 P42A Molly cells. Grab yourself a few of those, plus the one that you're gonna run in the flashlight. Charge them up. Hell, as a matter of fact, pick yourself up one of the four cell chargers you can also get. I'll link to them all this down in the description. All right, guys, well, I don't have a whole lot else to say. The light's amazing. I think it speaks for itself. I have uh, shown you firsthand exactly what this light can do, how bright it can be in the darkest of conditions when mounted to a bike, a wheel, whatever it is you want to mount it to. It will overperform your expectations. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down in the comments. Join in the conversation. Let me know. If you want me to make more videos like this and other flashlights and EDC stuff and all that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace, be safe, later.